Hey, hey, Mikołaj Dawidowski here, back with another video. Today I'll be talking about the importance of cleaning up the room. I've mentioned this one a few times already and I've dedicated a few videos to it as well. And every time I try to add little bits of pieces or uh, take another perspective from it. So let's talk about cleaning in general, not just your room, but your space. So as I've mentioned previously, the sheer fact of cleaning up a space makes you go and perform an action of putting things from chaos into order, which then have a meaning that you're putting your life, like symbolically, I'm going to talk about more about uh, symbolism, S symbolically, every time you do an action, it has subconscious reaction. And by choosing to clean, by to cleanse your space, you're also decluttering or cleansing or cleaning your mind. And so, personally, uh, if I ever have any thoughts that are in some way unwanted, or I have emotions which I don't particularly enjoy, the very first thing I look towards is, is there anything that I clean up? Because the simple act of cleaning helps me to physically perform an act of cleansing. So, everything is connected. Um, taking a holistic approach and so in order to cleanse your mind you want to do it not only just through your breath like meditation but also for a physical action that reflects cleaning cleansing so on and so forth putting your life in order because having a little bit of chaos is okay there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, it is very important to have a certain level of chaos in order to keep things interesting, in order to keep things entertaining. However, too much chaos will consume you. It will throw you completely out on a limb. And it will give you the perspective or an illusion that you have no control over your life you may go down the path of addictions or anything like that because you feel like the world within which you're in you have no control over and therefore you're at the mercy of the world and so since you don't have the power you're gonna find it increasingly more and more difficult to function within the world because you keep perceiving yourself more and more as not being able to function within the world because it's all chaos and pure chaos you unless you have absolutely great experience you cannot control some people find themselves very comfortable in chaos but usually just for a short amount of time if your surroundings are chaotic it just reflects the chaos that is within you. You will always create around yourself that which is within you. Not because you want to or you set yourself a goal to do that. You're gonna do it because it is you. So if you have certain habits, uh, making a cup of tea every day, you make a cup of tea every day. You don't have to set a goal for yourself that in two days time you're gonna create a hot uh, hot tea for yourself you're just gonna do it because you do it every day and so if you are chaotic within yourself you're gonna be creating chaos within yourself around you and within yourself to a larger degree as well because you're exploring the idea of chaos and as you focus upon the chaos well of course it's gonna grow because where the energy, where your attention goes, that's where the energy flows, my friend. And so having the right amount of order is very important. Because, of course, if you completely take out all chaos from your life, your life is going to become very stale. It's going to become very boring, not interesting, 
in any way, shape or form. Because your life is going to be become very predictable where everything is scheduled, everything you know that's gonna happen, you know like up front, like one year up front or something. And so you're just gonna be dying inside from boredom because everything is scheduled. Everything has its place, yes, which is nice, but there is no excitement, there is no unpredictability. So it's important to have the right balance. Personally, the way I find that balance is by having structured morning and evening certain exercises or things that you do, regardless of the time I go to sleep or wake up. And then for the rest of the day, I leave it as a free flow. So I schedule my work, but apart from that, I don't schedule things. I just allow the day to unfold itself and see what happens. Hope that shines a little bit more light upon this topic. I bless you, my friend. I am looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Consider subscribing for more videos and let me know. How often do you clean the space within your area? And what effect does it have upon you? Remember to like the video and until the next one. Bye.